Hi everyone and welcome back to Science with Sam. We are going to be making slime today and not just any slime. We're going to be making snowflake glitter slime, the best slime because it's winter. And what does winter have? Snow and ice and snowflakes and coldness and all the good stuff that we can do. So let's get started. All right, first, what we will need to make is our mixture of glue and water. And so I'm gonna tell you right now, the supplies that we're going to need are one fourth cup of glue and one fourth cup of water. So I'll start the water. Water is warm, it's just easier to work with that way. So I heated it up in my tea kettle, but you can get it from hot water on your tap water, or if you wanna heat it up on the stove and boil it. Either way, that works. Next, we got our glue. This is clear glue because you gotta have that icy look. All right, oop, gotta take the top off. All right, wonderful, yes. Okay, we'll let that sit in there while the glue comes off. All right. So in the next bowl, we are going to mix together our borax, which is one fourth or one eighth of a teaspoon of borax and another fourth a cup of warm water so you can get it to dissolve. Borax in there. All right, now we'll add our one fourth cup of warm water. There we go. And then we're gonna stir, stir, stir and make sure all of that borax dissolves into the water. There we go. We're also going to stir, stir, stir all the glue with that water over here so that it's all good and mixed together. It's kind of hard to tell because they're both clear but you can sort of notice from the texture that they're not separate. All right. So before we go any further, we have to add the stuff that makes it super wintry. We've got snowflakes. I'm gonna open this up and sprinkle a few in. Yes. All right, and of course, what does snow look like? It glitters and shines. So we've got to add some glitter, some nice silver glitter. Sprinkle that in there. Awesome. And then maybe a little bit of the shimmery white glitter for the snow. Yes. All right. And we'll mix it all together with our glue and water mixture. So there we go. And it's ready for us to add the borax water. Now watch close, this is the magic. Whoop. All right, you're not seeing much, but if you watch it stir together, it starts to get really hard, it starts to congeal together. And so I'm gonna explain the science while I'm stirring and mixing it up because after you stir it together, you kinda gotta knead it with your hands to make it extra good slime. So for the science of slime, we involve mixtures, substances, polymers, cross-linking, states of matter, elasticity, viscosity, all of those good science things. So what's it all about? The borate ions in the borax powder, powder are activators and they mix with the PVA glue. And so together, this forms the cool, stretchy substance that we call slime. All right, time to get our hands in there. So this is called cross-linking. The glue is a polymer and is made up of long, repeating, and identical strands or molecules. These molecules will flow past one another, keeping the glue in a liquid state until you add the borax ions. That's right, glittery perfect slime. 
once you add the borate ions to the mixture and it starts to connect these long strands together, they begin to tangle and mix until the substance is less like the liquid we had at the beginning and more thicker and rubbery like slime, which is a polymer. That's kind of like a plastic, almost. So is slime a liquid or a solid? Trick question. It's both. We actually call it a non-Newtonian liquid because it's a little bit of liquid and solid. As long as you handle the slime gently, like I'm doing right now, and you don't squish it too hard, the molecules can move. Now, however, if you start handling it harder, they get firmer and they break apart really easy. Kind of looks a little bit more like if you were breaking apart snow or ice. So, however, if you keep it resting just there gently, it'll start to flow and they'll start to be able to move again. And this makes the slime feel more viscous. So that's why we're talking about viscosity. And that changes under the pressure, whether it's more liquid or more solid. So that is our science with Sam today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get to play with it. And you really get to enjoy your glittery snowflakey slime. And we'll see you next time. Bye.